पेपर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन ए ग्राफ बिटवीन स्ट्रेन एंड स्ट्रेस हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस एंड वी हैव टू कमेंट अबाउट विच मटेरियल हैज मोर टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ विच इज मोर डक्टाइल विच इज मोर ब्रिटल एंड विच हैज मोर यंग मॉडल एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर वन नाउ टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ए मटेरियल इज नो द मैक्सम टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस इट कैन टेक बिफोर ब्रेकिंग सो कंसिडरिंग द ग्राफ एज वी कैन सी इज द ग्राफ बिटवीन स्ट्रेन एंड स्ट्रेस एंड द ग्राफ फॉर पी गोज लाइक दिस एंड फॉर क्यू इट गोज लाइक दिस as we can see here that p breaks after a much more value of stress as compared to q then p has that means p has more tensile strength as compared to q similarly p can undertake more strains so it's more ductile and the slope of curve p is more as compared to q that means Young's modulus of P will be lesser as compared to Young's modulus of Q, because here the graph is not between stress and strain. Otherwise, it would have given us the value of Young's modulus. Had it been a graph between stress and strain, it would have given us the value of Young's modulus. The slope of the graph would have given us the value of Young's modulus. So the correct option is A and B. Paper two, question number twelve. It is given that a spherical body of radius r. consists of a fluid and it is under equilibrium due to its own gravity and we have to find pressure as a function of radial distance from the center so let us assume that this is a sphere i have consider a shell of width dr at a distance r from the center and let's say the pressure from this side is p and from the other side is p plus dp now since this shell is in under, under equilibrium so minus dp into a where a is the area of this shell is equal to gm upon r square into G, dm where m is the mass of liquid contained within this smaller sphere and dm is the mass contained within this shell if we put the value dp will be this and if we put the limits then from 0 to p it's from r to small r p will be equal to some constant it to 1 minus small r square upon capital r square if we put the values of r as given in the problems we will get the correct options as b and c paper 2 question number 13 we have a parallel plate capacitor and its capacity is given out to be c one and it is said that in this capacitor we fill a part of the space with a dielectric of dielectric constant k1 is equal to 2 and the remaining with a dielectric constant k2 is equal to 4 if the total area is s we can take this to be s by 2 this to be s by 2 and we can take this width to be equal to d by 2 and this one is d by 2 and after filling the dielectric if the capacitance becomes c2 then we have to find the relation between c2 and c1 that is c2 upon c1 we can redraw the circuit in this manner like we can take this as a single capacitor and we can take this two in com series combination and then we can take them in parallel combination if we redraw the circuit it will be something like this these two capacitors will come here and the other one will be here we can check the values of capacitances of these capacitors this one this one and this one and this turns out to be this one is c1 this one is uh, 2c1 and this one is 4c1 
and it is very easy to find out that how it becomes 4 C 1 because we know that capacitance is equal to k epsilon naught a over d. If we solve it and find out the equivalent capacitance between these two points, C 2 will turn out to be 7 by 3 C 1. So, the correct choice is D.